Hello everybody and welcome back to another Xenotic casting demo video. We have Drainer vs Arch, we are on Mint, one of my favourite maps in the game. Very unique, uh, uniquely styled map in Xenotic. And a map I very much enjoy, it uses a lot of Xenotics, as you can see there. Use a lot of Xenotics height based movement where you can do double jumps and trick jumps and stuff like that and ramp jumps really is a very good Xenotic map Drainer versus Arch though a very good matchup of two good duelers uh, pretty evenly matched not sure about their experience on this map it's not as well played as it used to be But they seem to know where the teleporters come out, so they can't have too bad of knowledge of the map. Nice shot there from Drainus spamming out the Crylink. Finds Arch jumping across, evens the score at one to one. Now Arch is over somewhere to the other side of the map. Quite a big map. So spawn furthest definitely puts you somewhere else. And Arch just running away. Clearly has low health here. Doesn't want to take on Drainer who is pretty reasonably stacked. Not massively stacked but has a good amount of health. Now a good amount of armor and has all of the weapons that you'd want to start taking on a fight. Whereas at the time Arch definitely did not have the weapons wanted. Drainer timing the items. Making sure that he's in the right place at the right time. Making sure he picks up everything. Does not want Arch to be able to get this health if he can avoid it. Takes quite a big bit of damage. Arch going to be pushing forwards. Goes up in the air and Drain is going to find him. Bit of missed movement from both of these guys at the minute. Clearly a bit nervous about the other. Tends to be what happens when someone's a bit nervous. Movement's the first thing to go. Drainer has been working on his movement a hell of a lot. This was a game shortly after he sent me a message saying I've been working on my movement, doing really well with it. So it's definitely the first thing to go when you uh, when you lose a bit of confidence though. Jumps into that bit of acid, not greatest place to be in the world, but doesn't do too much damage compared to something like the lava or something on Stormkeep. It's a dangerous mega spot, honestly. The, the, you can definitely be knocked straight into the gunge behind. Drainer really pushing quite a lot of frags early on. This map, usually a low scoring map. So, 4 to 1, or 5 to 1 now, in the first 3 minutes is pretty high score, really. Especially the way these two guys are playing it. They're really not pushing each other. Drainer is not going hard into arch falling back a lot making sure that he's got the right stack doesn't want to push too hard those two are uh, those two rockets collect connecting in mid-air there you can see drainer's movement if you go watch the first time we commentated drainer you'll see a massive uh Massive improvement in movement. Arch going to pick up a frag there though. That's going to put Drainer on a bit of a back foot. Because Arch is just going to do what Drainer did to him. Uh, about a couple of minutes ago. The last few minutes. Finds a good shot. That was good from Drainer. Moving to the other side. Using that uh, pillar up on either side pillars to keep his line of sight away from Arch so Arch couldn't see exactly where he was going. This is quite a nice game. I enjoy games like this from time to time. Zenotic's an extremely fast paced game. You really have to be it's very difficult to talk about strategy sometimes when you're commentating Zenotic but I like a slower paced game like this on a bigger map. So we see Arch coming round. He knows he needs to find a few more frags. He's not got to find them immediately though. He's got a bit of time. We're not quite halfway through just about though. So he's definitely got the time 
And that was a beautiful move. That was incredible from Archie. He was moving around. Knew where Drainer was. Found where Drainer was. And connected the shots with him. Managed to deny Drainer that mega health. Now Drainer is... Oh, perfect there from Drainer. Absolutely beautiful. Heard the army be taken. Didn't go up and try and take it. Didn't want to be spotted. So decide to skip out on it. Picks up that 50. Got full health now. Picking up some shards. There is quite a lot of health actually around this map. In those little five bubbles and five shards. On this map there's quite a lot of that. So despite the fact there's not a specific 100 armor. Hanging about. Uh, that's more than compensated for. Two, two 50s. And I think there's about another 50 or 60 in little shards in corners on this map. Certainly is a fair bit. Drainer doing a good amount of damage there to Arch, despite being on the back foot. It was a good amount of damage and a good fight, good display from Drainer there. Keeping himself in control. Or keeping himself with some control of the map. Not entirely lost. It's kind of an abstract thing, control, in a game like this. You can say that someone's got control because they've just picked up all of the items, but sometimes you can pick up all the items and have no control over the game because you're being blocked from positioning and your opponent's just letting you have them. And your opponent decided you were going to have them. We can see that right now. Drainer has just as good control over the items as Arch seems to have, at least from this position. Arch doesn't seem to have instant grabbing ability of the items, isn't completely timely. You can see there in the right vicinity, but certainly not absolutely controlling it. A beautiful shot there from Drainer, waiting for the item to come up and now able to grab that Mega. So we can see that Drainer now has some good control of the items, but control of the items or just has the items has good stack versus having uh, what Archer's got which is some nice uh, some nice map control so overall positioning which is very difficult to see what's what in this game. Oh, beautiful shot jumping up from Arch there. Finding himself in the air, raining down terror onto Drainer. It's an interesting one being in the air in a situation like this. The Drainer evens everything up with two minutes left to go. Um, so Drainer uh, on the floor there. Arch went up in the air. Drainer with the necks would have had a better time to hit Arch, who was up in the air. Would have been easier. Arch more predictable in the air. But at the same time, wouldn't have been able to combo by hitting with the uh, vor with the mortar or the rocket launcher. It's much harder to hit those when someone's floating about in the air. Arch able to rain down terror up from above. Much easier to hit uh, indirect and splash damage rockets. Arch self um, self damaging for a suicide there. Drain up, put back into the lead, only a little more than a minute left to go. But we can see that these guys have got a good amount of positioning. Arch has got a good stack, but that's gone now. That's absolutely gone. Arch doesn't want to push through. Drainer has very much control over the items right now. Has knowledge of the time. Doesn't want to stand there. That's a very risky place to stand. But it pays off. Drainer with 50 seconds left. Going to pick up two frags lead. Very nice bit of movement. Clearing out the area before Arch comes around. Making sure before grabbing the item. To have the area cleared out. is a risky place to stand that. With the goo behind you that we saw Arch taking quite a lot of damage in that fight from. Drainer was able to duck out of there as he saw Arch coming round. Happened to be looking the right way though. Sometimes there's a bit of luck and you can see Drainer spamming out the area. He was just stood. Absolutely perfectly. And now we've got 15 seconds left. GG is called by Arch.
We're going to have a restart and that's the end of the game. Thank you very much for watching. Congratulations to Drayna for that win. Incredibly well played by both players. Send me your demos. I am MX Craven on the IRC. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one of these.